Operators of the Department of State Services, DSS, fired gunshots and used pepper spray to disperse protesters who were guarded around the service headquarters to demand for the release of a Moyele Shore on Tuesday. The protesters, who were carrying several placards, were rounding up their sit-out when the incident occurred. Convener of the protest, Dedi Adeoju, was addressing the media on the reason behind the protest when truckloads of operatives, some with masks, arrived at the scene and chased them away. And citing some of the protesters who defied the dispersed order, an operative pulled out his service pistol and shot several rounds into the air. Shortly afterwards, another operative used pepper spray to force those who were seated to flee. Some of us, when, when we said that we are going to come and stand in as shorty, physical shorty for Showare, on Saturday, many Nigerians said, ah, that we, we like to take risk. But true to our words, we came here on Saturday and we actually came to say they should release Showare to us because they had by themselves told us that the reason why they are not releasing him to us is because that there was nobody to receive him and collect him. And we came to say, give us our property. They refused and played. Some of you were here on Saturday with us. They played all kinds of pranks with us on Saturday here. But be that as it may, we gave a promise that we will come here today, being the, working, the first working day of the week, and we will come and tell them that they should release our property and our friend and our brother and our fellow comrade to us. They refused. Since that day, some of us have received all kinds of threats. We are not new to these threats at all. Mm -hmm. But we were even offered money at gunpoint. Gun but in our tradition, I will not go into details to say much. I have told you, and I will say, all the friends and comrades who are here, they know our stand when it comes to the issue of standing for what is right. And that we will never compromise. We will never, I repeat, we will never compromise. So if they can be this desperate, and they have told some of us in confidence that they will never release Showare, they will not release him. You understand? So they give threats, they give money, they give all kinds of things. That's the kind of government that we have. So you can imagine what some of the judges in the country might be passing through in these people's hands. You understand? I'm just giving you a tip of the ice block. We have come here to say, please, so the money they gave us, so we don't want, because it was given to us at gunpoint. We don't want the money, or they should take their money. Before the end of today, if they don't take their money before the end of today, we are going to give it to Femi Falana. So that you can use it to augment part of the legal bills exactly. of Chowere. And the expenses. And the expenses. Today, Abuja, tomorrow, Abuja today, today and all that. So for us, so for us, our hearts are always true to the cause. Like I have said, some of these things that we do, we come at serious risk. Some, some people have said they will kill me. Yes. If they kill me, am I the first Nigerian to be killed? Mm -hmm. Will I be the last Nigerian to be killed? No. no, no.